Welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and we are continuing our new series today on matrices by looking at how to add and subtract matrices to one another. And this is the second video in our series. In this particular video, I'm aiming it at students across Australia in general, general and specialist mathematics in year 11 and 12. And in this video, you will learn some basic concepts about adding and subtracting matrices. We'll do a couple of quick worked examples and talk about what's coming up. I think this is going to be a surprisingly easy video for most of you out there, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's look at some of our basic concepts. Firstly, when we add two matrices or more together, the concept, or subtract them, the concept is that the element from each matrix that matches must be added to the other one. So element 11 in the first matrix must be added to element 11 in the second matrix. Now, if that didn't make any sense to you, go back and watch video one, the introduction, and you'll understand what an element is inside a matrix. Okay, so we've just talked about element one. So it's really important that you identify the same row, same column across each matrix, and they're the only numbers that you add or subtract from one another. So for this reason, all matrices that are added and subtracted must be of the same order. So what I mean by that is if you've got a three by three matrix, you can only add that to another three by three matrix or a two by three matrix. You can only add that to a two by three matrix and so on. So they must be the same size, same number of rows, same number of columns. Now, when you do this, you'll be forming a new matrix. So your answer is also given in the square parentheses, and that particular matrix will be the sum of the other matrices or the difference between the matrices. Now, some little things, tips and tricks to watch out for. And these are just basic addition and subtraction principles. So be very careful when you're adding or subtracting negative numbers. Remember that a negative, um, Take away another negative gives you minus minus becomes a plus. Adding a, a negative number to another number becomes subtraction. So just be aware of your rules that you've been learning since grade seven. If you're adding or subtracting fractions, you need to know how to change them to a fraction with the same denominator and that otherwise you can't add them. Try to avoid using a calculator if you can. Try and do it on paper. And the other thing to watch out for is if you're adding algebra, remember you can only add and subtract like terms. So you can only add X's to X's and you can only add Y's to Y's. You can only add numbers to numbers. So if you can remember all of those basic principles about addition and subtraction, then you are almost there. Let's look at a quick worked example. So we've got a matrix A, which has got four elements in it and matrix B also four elements and notice that they're both square matrices, two rows, two columns. So they can be added to one another because they are of the same order. We need to find A plus B. So what we're going to do is start with element um, number one, one, which is in our first row and our first column. We've got three plus negative six, which will give us negative three. So we put that into the exact same position in our new matrix, which is A plus B. Then I'm gonna move down to element 21, which is row two, column one. I'm gonna take negative one and add three, which gives me positive two. Then I'm gonna to move to element 21, which is my sorry, element 12, sorry, row one, column two, which is two plus seven gives me nine. And then lastly, I'm going to move to row two, column two, which is element 22 and add eight to 11 and I get 19. Let's look at worked example two. We're now gonna subtract a matrix from the other matrix. We've got A is equal to another square matrix with four elements, and we've got a B, which is another matrix with four different elements in it, A take away B. So once again, I'm gonna set that up. And we've already got the first element has sneakily popped in there. That was element number um, 11, which is first row, first column. And what we're going to do is do negative six minus negative eight. Now minus minus becomes positive. So minus six plus eight is positive two. And then we're gonna to move to the next column over and look at element number 12. And that is 100 take away negative 52. So that becomes plus, and we've got 152. Let's move down to the bottom on the left-hand side now. That's element number 
21. We've got negative 4 minus 10 gives us minus 14. And then the last one is 72. Take away 18 gives us 54. And that one's stuck in there quickly as well. And that's about as hard as it gets. So let's have a quick look at what's coming up. We're going to look at some scalar multiplication in our next video. And then things are going to get a little bit harder. We're going to look at product matrices, some applications, and then move on to some specialist topics for our specialist students. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'd like to say a big welcome to all of our new subscribers. And why not follow us on Facebook? Look for McClutchy Mass there. Once again, if you need to contact us, you can contact us at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. That's the best place if you've got a question about a video or you think there may be a mistake or you'd like to request some information or you need help understanding something. And once again, to all of us, I would like to say thank you so much for all of your love and support. We really appreciate you here on the channel. I would like to wish you a wonderful day. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Thanks for watching.